Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And of course, you're joining me in the Portofino with the roof off. We'll get to all those bits, don't worry. This is gonna be the first proper, proper dry video. A few of you commented on the last video saying, why wasn't that the first drive? Reason being is because whenever I get a car, the first actual drive, I just wanna enjoy it. No cameras, none of that stuff. Just enjoy the drive, get a real feel for the car. And then, of course, I can talk to you guys about it a little bit. Um, so I'm here, I'm gonna take it on some nice kind of country roads. So I'm out of London. We do not film in London because it's pointless. These cars need to be on open roads. You can just hear a little bit of the noise of the car. I'm not opening it up yet. It's still in like comfort mode. So, so comfy this car. But uh, we'll pull over, have a little bit of a chat, show you a few more details of the car that I haven't actually shown you yet. Some personal touches to my spec. And then we will hear the car in all of its glory because it sounds amazing. You've heard the revs from the last video, but wait till you hear what this thing sounds like on upshift. Okay, should we do this blue? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. outside the car. As I said, we're gonna have a little bit of a walk around with the car, but don't worry, not too much, because I've already kind of gone round it. So if you wanna watch that video, click up there, you'll see all the details and the spec with the car. But there are a few points that I wanna kind of point out, which I didn't really show clearly, and mainly like the passenger display, how it works, and a few other things, and we'll show it when it's running, so when you're in the car as well. But one thing I wanna focus on the car on the outside, which I did mention before, is all of the carbon. Now, and the color of course as well, but that's just obvious. In this amazing sun, I should be wearing sunglasses right now, but we're in like nearly the middle of September, the sun's out. I know I'm wearing a hoodie, it is a little bit crisp. And uh, a plug there for the hoodie, one off. If you guys know about one off, um, then great. Hopefully you own something already. This basic hoodie, it's the last of the first. Make sure that you go and buy this. I don't know, probably by the time this video goes out, it might be sold out already, but otherwise head to um, the link in the description to one off to pick up the last of the first collection before the kind of autumn winter stuff comes in. This is the last, last stuff. So make sure you go and secure that. But let's go around and just see all the carbon on the car because honestly, now that it's outside, it's in the sun, you can see it properly. So the whole front splitter here is all carbon fiber. All of this is carbon fiber. Um, I went for the kind of darker options here at the front, which is on the grill. You could have gone for the chromish area, but I went for the dark one here because it makes the horse stand out. Um, I'll go around this way as I'm talking. Um, the wheels we all know about as well. The whole lower split, the side splitter there basically is all carbon fiber as well. And so is this kind of intake valve here where it uh, has these kind of slats here in, the, in a little bit as well, which is taking air and I think cooling the brakes, I think, or feeding the air back through this beautiful line here. Um, inside the car, there is carbon kick plates as well over here, which look amazing. We'll talk about more of the interior in a second. Coming round at the back here, you didn't have the option to have this all in carbon fiber, so that was not done, but all important exhaust tips in black, which I think looks amazing. I think it'd be cool to have this in carbon, not necessarily the whole thing, but this. But um, as far as I understand, that was not an option. No cool Ferrari kind of Formula One light here. It's just this light here. Don't really know how to turn that on. Um, carbon around the lights here as well, which was really, really important. And one thing that's probably everybody was asking was, let me pop the boot so you can kind of see what is the storage like on a convertible, because this one comes into the boot. So if I lift that up, excuse me, I've got a few things in there already. But this is what it looks like. Now it looks pretty full and there's not much space, but actually if I take stuff out, this is all the stuff I haven't even unpacked it yet. Um, this is the G-Technic stuff. There's a nice bag here. What of your stuff. Let me pull all of this out so you can kind of see. Nice bag that they give you as well. Ferrari Portofino bag there. And of course the cover. So if I pull this all out and put that down on the floor there, you can kind of see how much space there is. Now this is down because when you put the convertible down, it needs to be there. So you'd lift this up if you didn't want to put the roof down. And you have all of this space here. It's all of this section here, this back bit here, the side section, side section as well. And I believe you can put the rear two seats down as well. So you can kind of get your golf clubs in there as well, which I think is quite important. A little bit of storage under here. Nope, not at all. Um, tire pressure kit, all this kind of stuff here. Nothing that's too interesting. Although, I don't know if this is like a fuse box here because when I used to have an Aston Martin Vantage, you could pull out one of the fuses and it used to make the exhaust sound a lot louder. I will not be doing that on this car, so let's close that. So yeah, if you wanna put the roof down, basically you pull this down here, this has to be down, and then the roof fits into this section here, so you can't put anything on the side there. I've already crushed a few things um, trying to close it. But 
pretty decent. I mean, it's a practical supercar. This is more than you get in anything like in the Performante and of course in GTRS because it's just the front thing. And the engine is at the front. We'll show you that in a second as well. Um, and this is cool. Check this out here. So this is the plaque. Normally this is in the front of the car. I've seen it, I think, in the 488s before, but it tells you all of the spec in the car there. So I'm going through all of this, but all the details. Very, very cool. Nice glass bit here at the back, seeing it in a little bit more detail. Um, when this all kind of folds in, it's got a line here, which is just a protection seal for all the kind of rubber seals to make sure there's no water getting in. Going round, one thing that I have noticed on this car is the wing mirrors are actually quite big. So when you're sitting in the car and you're driving, you notice these quite chunky wing mirrors. I think that's because I'm used to the slim line kind of Portofino, I'm um, sorry, Performante. I'm getting confused with my cars. Performante wing mirrors, and of course the g 3 has these tiny ones, so these are quite big. But again, it's a more practical car, so granted it will be. I think that's pretty much it from the outside that I wanted to show, um, but we should probably show them the engine. Should we do that, Blake? Yes. Yeah, All right, fine. Let me try and figure out how to pop the hood. Okay, I managed to pop it from that side. From the inside, it's just kind of underneath the steering wheel. And this one doesn't have a latch, actually, that's just you kind of move your finger. You have to put your hand in and then down, and then you move this, and I say it opens, but oh, there we go. And there it is. The V8 engine of the Portofino. Um, powerful, powerful engine. It looks a little bit smaller, as you can see, when you see some of the other cars, like the F12, where it comes here, of course, is a V12. So the Ferrari engines look so beautiful all the time. Um, it looks a nice, sorry, I've got a bit of leaves and stuff here, which I should clean, but nice engine. It's, it's a good engine. Uh, we're gonna take it for a little bit of a drive so you can see it. Um, Honestly, like everything about it, these they perfected these, you know, they've taken them out of the 488. It's basically like a, a 488 kind of detuned a little bit because you wouldn't want that in this car. So we know the engine's amazing. It was, I think it was engine of the year in 2017 or something like that. But they make this look so, so beautiful. I need to learn a lot more about cars and what everything does here um, because I should know about everything, but I don't. So that's it. Nice kind of padding here on the other side. Uh, yeah, no carbon fiber on this, but that's not what this car is designed for. Let me close that there, push down a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at the inside. So, before we see the car in all of its glory on the inside, I think let's get the roof off because you'll see all the light kind of flooding in. So, right, let me do that. So, are you going to film it? Yeah. Okay. I would say that takes probably about 15 seconds or so, roughly. You can do it up to 30 miles an hour, I believe, or something like that. So I haven't tried too much because the boot, as you can see, does completely open. So you don't want things to be falling out if you're going too fast. Loads of carbon on the interior. I've already talked about the kick plates. The whole central bridge here is all in carbon fiber. We'll get all the close-up bits. It's really, really nice. Everything works so well with the kind of cup holders here. Beautiful place to put the key. So the standard Ferrari key slips in there. You don't need to keep it in there for anything. It's just in there for that reason. But the whole center console is so nice because it sweeps all the way to the back part of the car as well. So that's quite nice. Um, and then you have these seats at the back, which of course, you know, I'm going to try and fit in for this video. So we'll try and see what we might screw this blue in to see what it's like. Um, <laughs> but look, they're not like proper, proper seats. I think if you move the seat forward, it can be, but we'll try that out in a second. So don't worry. Cockpit looks amazing, honestly. Like I've got all the carbon fiber here on the driving zone, of course. Um, this bit is all carbon fiber. I've got the yellow rev counter as well. But going across to this side as well, when you kind of see the carbon fiber going across this here, really reminds me of the kind of F12. And also this is very similar to what is in the A12, which you will know by now that I have got coming. So if you've not seen that video yet of me kind of pre-specking it, click the video that's up there and um, go and watch that and give me some ideas for spec because it's time to lock that in. And then bigger, bigger display here, which is now like in the GD4C Lusso. Um, and it honestly works amazingly. The touchscreen works really, really well. And yeah, it's got everything on there. I mean, this car is fully loaded. Comfort seats with, it's got uh, heated seats. It's got everything you need. It's got lumbar support. You can adjust every part of the seat from the front bit to the side bits to kind of like argue, whatever you want. And then the sat nav actually works really well. It's amazing. Um, and everything else works, which is good because a lot of these cars don't work. But the coolest thing is on this side over here, which is the passenger display. So when I touch that, it will actually show you 
everything that's there but it's not just that some people think that it's just oh I can see the the revs and the speed and everything but if you kind of go along here you can move it to see obviously how the um, if you're in sport mode how everything's working like the shift um, and then you can go across to music so your music would be here you can change it um, you can go across to maps if you want to um, see different locations and then of course back to this as well so it's not just that and then you've got all the options on the home screen here if you want as well and you can switch it off just like that quite easily another cool part of the car which i love which is honestly i think become my favorite bit is the bordeaux carpets that you can see here so it's got this nice kind of contrast with these portofino mats i know they're a little bit dirty but they're quite easy to clean then one of my favorite parts which keeps the racing feel of the car i feel is that the titanium or aluminium i think it is kick plate which i've also got on this side here on the pedals but it's nice it, it gives a a comfy car or a a GT car, the feeling of still that it's, it's a sports car. Yeah, I think it's come to that time where I need to squeeze into one of these back seats and see how it looks. Should we do it? <laughs> yeah, I want to film that. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you kinda, so you kind of adjust the seat like this and then it starts to move automatically forward. What I'm concerned about is, is that when I sit in the back here like this, get in, and then when I fold this seat back, I think it is going to start moving back to squash me. Blue, can you save me before this squashes my legs? <laughs> Okay, can you move it forward? Yeah. All right, that's not actually as bad as I thought. Um, I know I look incredibly stupid. Is that forward all the way now? I think so. So that's yeah. forward all the way. I'm not the biggest person in the world in terms of height wise. I think I'm about five foot 10 or something like that. And I can actually sit here with my knees like this and somebody I think can sit in the front, which is surprised me a little bit. I think I look like an idiot, but that's not really the point here. Um, I can ferry around four people at one time which including myself which is pretty cool and before other people start staring at me <laughs> let me get out of here blue um don't laugh too much because it's your turn next <laughs> oh great <laughs> right yeah, so blue's sure. making his debut on camera there he is everybody hello everyone the man behind the camera so i'm going to give this a shot yeah yes you're going to do that if my filming is terrible i apologize there you go so sit down there blue is taller than me definitely so taller pull than this me. back pull that back and it's going to start oh so is it crushing you? No, it's it's noticed that I've stopped as soon as I've uh, Okay, sat interesting. Down. And I think if I look it's here, yeah, it's all the way forward. You can obviously adjust the back here as well. So that moving that. Not too bad. Do I look like an idiot? Uh, your head's popping out a little bit. Yeah, uh, a bit tall, but it's not I'm too quite bad. comfortable in here actually. See, so Blue, you're what, about six foot? Yeah, about six. Is that six foot? So user advice. Definitely approved. Okay, we're gonna see Blue more on the channel soon. Do I hold it like this? No, that doesn't <laughs> work. All right, I'll give this back to Blue. Okay, so this is the roof all in here in the boot, and you can then see actually how much room you're left with. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here, squeeze this all back in, as you can see. Um, I really need to remove this stuff from the car, but very, very easily fits, just check that out. And there's still actually lots of space here to put whatever I want, stuff here on the side, wherever. So that's with everything, you can easily get your shopping in there. It's clearly a very, very practical car. Okay, it's drive time, let's go. Right, now you've seen the car properly in all of its detail and all my little touches. Let me show you what this thing really sounds like. Now I've got the windows up here just so you guys can hear me. But I've got a nice open stretch of road here, national speed limit, so don't worry about it. Listen to this. better in uh, tunnels when you echo it it's going over a bump here and as you can with this car you can just go over a bump because it is so practical and so usable it's amazing blue's just adjusting his hair because obviously we're in a convertible and um yeah the wind's through our hairs but it is so well honestly you can use this car on a day-to-day -day basis just as like a daily driver it's so comfy i've got bumpy road button on right now residential area so i'm gonna go a bit slower um yeah, it's just really, really comfy. How do you find it, Blue? First time for you in the car? Honestly, like, because the California wasn't too, I wasn't too big of a fan of yeah. that. But then this is just like another step, like, 
yeah in every aspect totally it agree sounds amazing the roof off the way it like <laughs> it's really fun I think that's the most important thing is honestly it is really really fun I did not expect it to be this fun I thought it was gonna be yeah kind of a nice kind of cruiser car and everything like that but not to have as much oomph bear in mind I'm comparing this to when I'm driving like the Performante if I'm driving the GT3 RS track focused raw raw cars this thing is never gonna be that raw but you don't want it to be if that makes sense it's like kind of this to me people are asking me in each why don't you want an Urus or why don't you want certain other cars because Honestly, from a 4x4 and I had an SVR and I loved it, I don't want my super comfy or bigger cars to be fast. And this car as well, you want it to be fast, but you don't want it to be too raw, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I just want to kind of keep driving. Amazing weather. The roof off makes a big difference. Obviously, the window's up now, but you can put the windows all down. Such a clear view out the back there. Um, and this color just pops in the sun. Oh, let's just keep driving. <laughs> lovely people that is it for this video remember to like subscribe do all of the other bits um, crazy content coming I say it all the time but be prepared there's some special announcements a lot of other stuff some cars and loads of other business videos lots of other things coming I'm gonna just enjoy this car now a little bit like and subscribe do it now listen